Welcome back my family, been a while, two days I haven't uploaded anything. Alright, today we're looking at vectors and before we can begin, we must define what is a vector. Now, a vector can be described as, basically, it must have two things. One is size. So, for example, from A to B, size of that can be specifically probably 3 cm or whatever. And it must have a next thing, which is a direction. So, two things a vector must have, and it's one a size and a direction. It must be going in a specific direction. Alright. Two vectors is said to be equal if they are the same size and going in the same direction. Now we also have so this is two equal vectors. Next we have inverse. And we know from mathematics we know inverse is like the opposite. So they are going same side but they are going in the opposite direction. So you can say one is the inverse of the other. Alright, so basically all right, this the next thing a vector is defined by its x and y coordinates. So, I mean by that. So, for example, if we are moving from C to D, we don't just to do it like that, right? We see how many. Let's put some thing to it. Just to give you guys a look an idea of what's happening. Right? So this would be your x that goes across. So let us say this is one, two, three, four, five. I need to do a separate video on this too. I'm going up with the one. Alright, here will be one, two, three, four, five. Now it's defined by going how many units on the x-axis so this is one two three four so if you're going to express this in column that will be four and up one two three four so if we express cd in column vector it will be four four and it's read from c to d Alright guys, these things are very very important to note, the definition, very very important to know. And if we were to say, let's say we put a point here, and we go all the way down here, and the direction. So let's say the direction is going that way, right? And we we'll start from E to F. Now, as I say, we don't just go straight. We go via the X. So it would be one, two places. However, because we are going in this direction to, to our left, remember the number line, this would be negative two. And because we are going one, two, three down, it would be negative three. So if we are going to our right, it's positive on the x. If we are going to our left, it's negative. If we are going up, it's positive. And if we are going down, it's negative. So see? One, two. So this would be EF would be negative two, negative three. Let us look at another aspect. Guys, right, very important. I'm gonna do this in a separate video though. To give you guys this is just basically the definition of a vector let us look at what we call a scalar
Basically, as I would just tell my students, a scalar is just basically an X word for multiplication. Because a scalar is in this form P, X, Y. And the result would be K, X, K, Y. And you know what this means? K times X. Uh, let's not put some number and make it be simpler. So this is 310. It would be the same thing as 2 times 3, 2 times 10. Where the k is the constant, right? So it will be two trees, six to the twenty, and we are finished. It is as easy as that. Let us look at another example. Say we have four negative one three. It will be four times negative one, four times three. So four k would be 4, right? The constant 4, so it would be negative 4, 4 trees, 12. So guys, you see, vectors is not as hard as you guys make it out to be. Let us look at algebra vector. Our vector algebra. Vector algebra now. Let us say we have a vector A is equal to 2, 3, and a vector B is equal to 6, 2. And we want to find A plus B, right? So what we do, this actually, we must add, add the x coordinate, so it will be 2 plus 6. And we add the y coordinate separately, so it will be 3 plus 2. So therefore, it will be 8 plus 5. So it will be 8, 5. 3 plus 2, 5. We could also get something like this. Say 2a minus 3b. But you guys already can do this based on the scalar factor, right? So 2 would be your k. And then we times that by 2, 3, minus 3b, which is 6, 2. All right, guys, something that I want you guys to know, very importantly. We multiply by the 3 first before we subtract. All right, so let's go. You know, we multiply by negative 3. So 2, 2 is 4. 2, 3 is 6. 3, 6. 3 times 6, 18, 3, 2, 6, so it will be 4 minus 18 and 6 minus 6. This will give us negative 14 and 0. And that would be your answer. Alright guys, so that is what we call a vector algebra. Let us look at some more complicated ones. Let's just look at say 1 with 3. And you'll see exactly how I keep those. So let's just look at it. Alright, So we are asked to find two a plus three b minus two c, right? As we say, this is a scalar factor, so it will be two times a. What is a? Two three plus three times b, which is six seven, and minus. 2c, which is 2, negative 1, 3. So this c go in the bracket and 2, right? So 2, 2 is 4. 2, 3, 6. 3, 6 is 18. 3, 7 is 21. And it's always put what is sign. It don't matter. It's not like you're multiplying by negative 2, right? You're multiplying by 2. So it's minus. 
and you multiply them by 2. Very important, guys. 2 times negative 1, negative 2, 2 times 3, 6. Now, what I want you guys to do is I have fix. Let's put them under the big umbrella, right? So it will be 4 plus 18 minus minus 2. Put them out like this so you can see the signs, am I right? 6 plus 21 minus 6. And then we can do the math. 4 plus that will be 22. This will become a plus. So that will be 24. 6 plus that, 27 minus 6 is 21. And that will be your answer. The next video, we're going to continue. This is part one. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Alright guys.